Well, hello, this is Jimmy from Total Nerdy Channel, and we are here today to look at some fleet submission. We are here to look at the fantastic fleet submission of Axel SP. I don't know if it's Axel Sp or no, wait. It looks like an. I guess this, this is an S, yes, yes. Resolution, you know. Axel SP fleet submission number one. Um, and I like this very much. It's a personal favorite. Actually, um, to say that is almost a lie because all I only I only review the ship, the fleet submissions that I uh, really like. Um, the fleet submissions I didn't like that was accepted into the game. I just ignore and hope I won't see them online. Um, that said. If I haven't rever reviewed a certain fleet submission, it doesn't mean I don't like it. Uh, I just chose a few that I really like. But um, Axel Espy's fleet submission is one of those I really like, and you can see, you probably see why, because the building style is kind of cool. We'll begin with a small ship. Um, and we have, you know, the thrusters uh, exposed like this. Of course, this was built uh, before uh, people knew about the uh, what is it uh, about about the thruster effects. You know, uh, it hasn't been updated um, since the, that was added. So, well, anyways, here we have some. <laughs> okay, H here we have. The weapon compute, you know, the, the Bobby AI and stuff. Except this totally sucks because I don't really know how to access this. Uh, have I missed something? Maybe you can sit here and. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how he thought there, but I guess uh, he had a great idea and then didn't test it. Um, but something I really like about this is the these engines you see and then even used some natural elements like the the eyes uh, to have as a top for the thrusters which is really really cool I haven't seen this anywhere else and here we have the exposed underside dock perfect for magnet docking uh, and you can see it's a very 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 compact combat vessel uh, we have a little a little weapons you know stuff here I guess it's, you know, the system of this one. Uh, we also have the core behind, so we easily can access it. And well, what? Okay, I guess we need to move away with some... S oh, um, well that's strange. Let me just remove this little thing. It was, you know, just a way to dock it nicely. I didn't understand that firstly. Well, it's a pretty quick little combat vessel, I must say. It's really nice to maneuver. Uh, the cockpit view is okay, which is cool. And we have a... what do we have here? Let's check its systems. We only have a rapid fire cannon and a jump drive. The jump drive does take the ship's entire energy so you can't load this continually you need to pump load this um, I guess it's not that um, system opted but it works sure I have some ships that you need to do this on too so I mean uh, we here we have the rapid fire cannon and it's one big output in the you know now I don't see the cannon. I guess it's this one that's um, that's something I would like to have. I would like to be able to see um, the cannon output. So that is room for improvement I think. Because now it just come out randomly from the ship and I'm not a fan of that. Oh well. But the design of the you know you know, of the hull is nice. 
I feel that Axel SP is mainly a hull uh, builder rather than a um, system opter, so to say. Um, excuse me if you think I'm harsh, but I'm only trying to be true and fair. Um, this is, you know, reviews. When I when I show my own ships, it's showcases, and it's a huge difference because I can't sh I can't review my own ships because I'm biased, you know. <laughs> I can review other ships, uh, our other ship makers fairly though. So, well, it's kind of decent ship, I think. Could need some, you know, s you know, upgrades. Uh, the max speed, it's it's top speed uh, with only thrusters, so that's you know what to expect what to expect of a fighter in this class. Well, it's really light. You can see it uses hull, so this one will get uh, how to say wrecked pretty quickly. I mean, I almost probably can wreck this with my laser gun. It actually has kind of almost decent shields. Uh, it has good shields for this size, uh, so I think maybe the defense is uh, shield focused. But I feel that when we went through the shields part, you know, and uh, now we're through. Then we have these parts, which is, which is uh, crystal armor, which is advanced armor, heavy. But the, all the other parts are hull, which means they get wrecked pretty quickly, you know. We shall be moving on. Now, uh, when I get a clump of ships like this, I can't see their classes. I just have to figure out, hmm, what is this for a ship and what, what, what might this be? Um, let's go into flight mode and whoops. Align ourselves, indeed. Now, which to take this, definitely. Ooh, cool. We, w w while not needing this, we will totally turn off docked because it gets into, you know, my way. So, it's a cool design, you know. I already like the design. And, uh, lovely. This is so cool. Um, this is Probably a anti-missile turret. Yep, it's anti-missile turret. And it's... Wow, it's asymmetrical. It's an asymmetrical turret. Wow, this is so cool. I know it's a small detail, but... Uh, I really love this turret. It's so cool. Yeah. This is definitely one of my favorite ASMR a, a, yeah. anti-missile turrets. Even though it's kind of big and bulky, it does support its own power and it's it's really cool. Definitely a fan of this turret. Back from completely unannounced unannounced break. <laughs> so here we can see we go to the ship. And we have some more of these AMS turrets in the top of the ship. Um, it looks like uh, Axel SP really focuses on using hull for um, his, I guess, builds. Um, well, and we have an automatic airlock. Isn't that fantastic? Going on there. Nice. Um, oh, well, where to turn? This is the other USD, I assume. Draw to right. Yeah, good. It would be horrible if I forget that. Oh, now no, wait. Is this a lock? Ah, oh, I believe so. Interesting. Nice. So. Mm -hmm. So, he here we have... It's, you know, he here we have... Oh, crew quarters. Perfect. Crew quarters. Directly into here we have crew quarters. We have the ship core. We have the lights. Which I guess is the interior... Whoops. The interior lights of the whole ship. That's nice. We also have the... Uh, different systems here. It seems like. Uh, here we have a little med bay of... Uh, 
Very compact type, but still durable. We have a little storage. I like the wood too. <laughs> wood for interior. Here we have the um, transportation room with the transport computer too. Okay, moving on here, uh, we have the kitchen area with some medical supplies. And we have the Kiaptian's Quartiers, which is basically a other version of bunk bed. This looks very, you know, poor military. <laughs> Perfect toilet, I love it. I love, yes. I need to start having more toilets. I only have toilets on some of my ship, damn it. You got me on this one, Axel. Here we have the scanners in the floor here, it looks like. Let us check. Yep, that's scanners. Sorry. <laughs> uh, going in here, here we have the explosive and pulse. Now I'm not sure if these are ship systems or something else. We'll notice. Here we have some other command systems, it seems like. This must be the front, you know, driving position, I believe. Um, even though that is a bit, you know, uh, not an accurate, but uh, <laughs> the core is here. Um, so I like to have the core where the driver seat is. But I guess that's building style. Let's close that. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, well, this is the shape of the ship, and uh, as all of the other axle ships, with the exception of the fighter, this one has. Uh, you know, uh, camera, camera view. We have some missile systems and AMS uh, systems here. I really like the design of this, it's really cool. Um, the lava engines goes perfect with the brown, as I also used for the camel freighter. Uh, brown and lava, really cool. Oh, here we have small streaks of uh, standard armor, okay. Here we have docking side cameras and we have a front camera and that's all the cameras we need actually until somebody tears off your front camera uh, because then in this ship you're totally wrecked. Turning on the hood, um, these are all the systems here on the main board. We have, ooh, we have nukers. 100 percent support and 62 percent of explosives um, wow this is some real heavy this is this is a compact nuke ship it's very small but you know very heavy let's try these missiles out on this fighter I guess this will get overheated in one second and we launch a big bad nuke oh really can we fire several groups maybe Okay, let's let's load it up to more percent. And we can fire again. All right, it's in two groups. That's good to know. I guess do we have problems? Is it oh, it's in our faction maybe, doesn't it? Maybe it doesn't want to hit. I'm not sure because I'm pretty sure it is Let's check the damage per second. Okay, here we have it. There are in two groups. The damage is 226 per missile. Uh, the, you know, it's pretty big systems too. Well, let's try, well, we do that later. Fit to 42 per 45. 0.6% uh, overdrive, so we have a pretty fast ship, I believe. 361, yep. Uh, and, yeah. The ratio to mass is 1.1, so it's, you know, close to server top speed. The jump drive is slow, but doable, about the same fast speed as the ship we're aiming at uh, this moment. Let's just fire one against the shields of the Dwarmacht, and we see... Yep, it uh, went it down to, you know, half of the shields. Um, so that's really cool. It seems like this does very limited damage um, when... 
not taking on shields. Oh, here we got it. I don't know what happened before, but this one certainly uh, proves the effect of the missiles I wanted to show off, because this is nuke missiles, you know. When they hit, if they hit, they hit hard. I don't know what to call this ship, it's, uh, you know... Oh no, I was a bit surprised there for a moment, like, wait, isn't this way bigger? <laughs> it's a compact little nuke ship. Um, so you can go and in decently close range you'll fire your nukes and your enemy ships will be bye-bye. I also love nuke uh, systems, so you have my full understanding on the nukes. Uh, Axel, I really love the nukes too. I use them a lot. But of course the nukes are a system that is um, easy to shoot down with your AMS turret. So maybe it's, you know, many times not too efficient. Actually, they're just cool. Because when you hit, your enemies will be bye-bye. Uh, next chip. Axel does some nice job on his turrets. I do like the Axel turrets. Um, why the camera is... I guess that's the camera of the... It... Do I recognize this turret? It kind of looks like the turret that... Uh, um, Skylord Luke released some some good time ago. I think so because I think it was in my early star mating building days. So I think I looked at it. Uh, well, let's check because uh, oh, good, good <laughs> because that old upload. Um, somebody had missed to place the Bobby AI module on the barrel, so the Bobby AI module was placed down here. Uh, but now it has been moved to the actual turret, so it can be, you know, uh, used. I'm glad it has been changed. Um, however, it is with where the turret originally comes from. It is a turret with 48 blocks, 100% um, max fire speed, you know. It does, I guess, do some damage. Um, not very much damage, but a good deet, a good bit of decent damage, I should say. And well, if we go against this, we can't do much. We can basically hold down the shields of a ship like this. Let's... where is... can I see? Yes, here it is. And well, we can't keep the shields down on a bigger ship but you know uh, well that's a shield up up to the ship so it's not fair um, though but the movability and the looks of the turret is really nice I like it also I'm a fan of uh, Axel's design where uh, all of his ships kind of looks like uh, uh, how to say like, uh, th there is like this insect feeling where there is this brown shell on the top. They are grey underneath and uh, also you have the, uh, you know, it feels like the important systems are sticking down below rather, like the details and stuff. Which is a really cool style of building. Wait. Wait here. Let me just... I think I've seen a huge problem here. So, you can see this rail dock, and you can see this... What? Eh. Wait. Have I gotten something wrong? I seem to remember that the rail should be to the right. Um, excuse me if I'm wrong. I maybe just mixed something up here. Because this should... No. Either I have done wrong 
or Axel's done wrong. I think Axel is in the wrong in this one. I think indeed that the rail should be to the right on if it isn't some weird standard, which is possible, but 90% chance it's just a building flaw. Well, everything has its flaws. Um, ooh. We totally want to remove this block before everything gets lagged up. Okay, whoops. We have some AMS systems on the bottom here. And we can go into, whoops, the ship. Yes, nice, nice. We have a little storage here and we have the other USD and I like the interior of this example here indeed. Missile and engineering. Oh, we have some of those evil stuffs too, that's cool. Add some pulsing blood feeling on the floor here. We have, you know, some HP stuff and we have, oh, ion, we have faction module, we have Bobby. Okay, we have some systems and the core here too. That is a unusual place to have a core, I say, but I support it. It's cool. Transport room. It looks like the other transport room. Going nice here. We have some bunks here. We have some what's behind here. Nothing. I'm curious. I'm sorry for like... I'm so curious. What is this? Why is there, you know... Oh well, I guess we'll see later. Captain Quarters. Yep, looking like before. And here we have the, like, I guess, command center. Mm. They seem to have, you know, a standardized set of building. And I think that's really cool. Oh, well, let's get into this one. Um, I'm very curious. Oh, I guess it's maybe just the turret going on, maybe. Because it was... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Never mind. It's just the turret will be <laughs> hiding in. Anyways, we have lights, so we can close down the lights for many parts of the ship like this. We have a little cargo here. Oh, that's a nice cargo. Going to the ship here. We have... Okay, let's select a flight camera, which is, I guess, we have the same time as last time, one flight camera and two dock cameras. We have a kind of-ish fast, uh, we, we have a medium fast uh, jump drive. We have 41% ion to boost our shields. We have some, you know, fast things to make it, you know, 218. Kind of fastish. We also have a jump inhibitor to keep people from jumping away. And a scanner computer. Mm, we don't seem to have any offensive systems uh, other than the turrets. But I guess this is more of a maybe freighting ship or. Because, well, let's just check this 1.9k. So the storage isn't that big. If there isn't a storage, I have missed somewhere. But it would be weird to have two storages like that. Hmm. So it's not a storage hauler. And it's not a stealth ship. I guess it's a command. Not command, but maybe support vessel that's made to go in there. Uh, with its iron protected shields, basically be a bit defended, weaken the enemy with its big turrets and uh, keep them from fleeing. So I'd say this is probably a ship that's nice to have on your side if your enemies are using smaller ships and you want to keep them from fleeing from you uh, if you're able. <laughs> okay. No, let's just, you know. Well, now they, they now they will have things attached to them, but whatever. We'll go to the next ship. This one we go to 
go out from the current, jump to this one. Well, we have the usual two entrances. Um, it looks like Axel was thinking of adding another turret here, but then didn't. I love this little thing here. This is so cool, this little tower of tech stuff. I love that, tech stuff. Well, pretty uh, standardized design on this one. It looks rather clean and it's also this, you know, insect type uh, design. Basically a shell, you see. A thin shell though with a hull armor. I guess this transport room we have here. I guess this ship will be one of those ships you want to meet when battling because it only has hull and it's kind of... Well, it has a kind of hull it has a kind of high. Uh, it takes some some time to take it down because you know hull adds lots of HP. Anyways, here we have the uh, what is this now? The the AI, the Bobby AI room um, with the jump drives. Nice effect there. It's looking real cool. This room is the coolest room I have seen from uh, Axel. The regular light switch, but we're going to look around, so... But wow, this kind of looks like a spooky, spooky movie. Spooky. I love it. Cargo! Oh, and this has a big cargo. So here I guess we have the cargo hauler. Whoops, now I clicked on the weird button. Let us just check though where the cargo is held. Ah, oh, it's held down below here. So it's hidden away here. In oh, these tanks of course. Naturally it's in these tanks. That makes so much sense, it's cargo tanks. Well, going on here. We have some crew quarters, somewhat more, you know, um, privacy here. We have a big nice toilet room here and some alien tentacle showers. <laughs> wow, these are so cool. I, I need to have me some alien tentacle showers. It's kind of cool actually. So these are like sliming down and cleaning you up. That's cool. Medical bay. We have slightly more advanced medical bay here with some, you know, advanced stuff. Like the mess hall, I guess, and... Uh, what is this now? The command place. Oh well. What am I... Oh, this is the wrong... Okay. Okay, now we have the front camera here. This ship also has no armament because this is a pure crew... It's not crew. This is a pure cargo hauler. Oh, I love this shell hanging over here. It's really cool. A few AMS turrets to not get wrecked. Um, this build totally needs a radar jammer. <laughs> Well, we have overdrive to 49% and that gives us a top speed of 244. Um, we have some 40% uh, in effect, so we have kind of strong shields. And we have a medium fast, uh, slightly above medium, I guess, loading jump drives. Well, that's nice. Um, well... I guess that's that. Now let's this the maybe not the most efficient way to get out of here, but you know. Yes, we're out. And to the last and biggest ship and maybe the coolest ship, who knows. We go to the uh, battle class ship thing, maybe. And we have many of those turrets here. Um, 
we already looked at those it, they are looking real cool and the AMS turrets which is amazing I love the AMS turrets really good job on those and here we have some what is this cannons so this is cannon outputs actually we have more battle turrets on the top and this looks like a straight out battle vessel the USD docks going on there and the regular lava thrusters. Oh well, taking a little interior. We have crew quarters to both of the sides on both the halls except the transport room. Here we have the, oh, the lovely AI sh ship, AI room. I love this room. It's awesome. I love that you have it on this build too. It feels very uh, uniform this way. More crew quarters. This has lots of crews going on. We have the alien tentacle uh, showers. I love the alien tentacle showers. They are awesome. First officer's quarters. Captain's quarters. So we have lots of quarters here. And the ship core in this build seems to be in the captain's quarters. Um, this ship seems to be based on the previous ship, but, you know, much expanded on. And we have lots of weapon rooms here going on too. Okay, cool. Now we are one of the dock cameras. Let's select a... What is this for a camera? Oh, it's... Maybe. Okay, this is the battle camera anyways. All the systems are dragged down to the activation bar. We have the jump drive. Kind of medium, this one too. 47% um, shield. We have something that's probably nuke missiles. And we have a explosive. Oops, now we missed fire those. That was very sad. Oh well. Here we have the fantastic explosive machine gun. So this is a really heavy system actually. Well, you can see it tears through this thing. Wow. These explosive cannons is actually really efficient. Really cool. This is a whole ship. Let's let's try to do some damage against uh, this ship. Now I suspect Ah, they are actually in blocks, they're in the equal size. So we can see here how much it takes to get down the armor here. We need some of those nukes, I guess, to get to get to the like core here. Now that's below 50%, then we can start terrorizing some thrusters. No, not thrusters. What is it? Um, turrets. And you can see when the shields are down, we can pretty quickly um, terrorize the turrets if we shoot and at their bases. We can disable the turrets, and that's really cool. Well, if you know this, if you didn't know this, now we have your battle tips. When shields are down below, you just start terrorizing the big scary turrets and you'll be fine. So like if this was a battle, we would go for the AMS turrets and then we could fire our a nuke. But of course we want to make sure that the ship shields are down before we fire the nukes and it's down. Now we can lock on the nukes. And I wonder where this fires from. Lock on from down below. And it fires a big, you know, like a big uppercut thing. So let's see here. Where is it? I want to see the nuke output. Oh, here's the nuke output. It's cool. I like it. Well, did it do damage? This question. Or rather, where? I can't see it.
But you can see these are really efficient against... Uh, what is it? Standard armor 2. A few shots and it's through. Now I want to check, you know, this is the battle version of the ship. Oh, this is turret. It's here. Let's get into the Dwemacht and see, uh, you know, how much it takes. We begin with a frontal hit of the uh, punch through beam. Because this one has really decent shields. Wow. Oh my god. Really impressive. You can see the shields went down to just a few percent below. Uh, so this is clearly a build that's uh, supposed to be centered on having nice shields. Okay, we try to use the shotgun system here. And we can see the shields are still holding up really good. So I guess we need to take uh, to some heavier stuff like our, you know, big missiles. Wow, and the shields are really good. Wow, the shield values are so he high on Axel as peace builds. He's certainly spent all his resources on having nice shields, I believe. I believe that's, you know, the main part of this ship. When our first missile swarm hit, we can, of course, um, continue pounding. But the shields aren't going down in the first, you know, time. So we need, really need to use all our resources to not make them recharge. Of course we don't have the support of the turrets as well as uh, Axel, when we tried that one, didn't have support of any of the turrets. So that's kind of, you know, good to know. Well, locking on more missiles and boom. Okay, now we, now we took down the shields. So now I guess that uh, the glory days are over, except uh, Axel's ship does have a great HP value, which will make this take a long time. Long time, I believe this will take. Uh, well, here's where systems, you know, missiles come in. Really? Oh, the shields went back. So, when the shields go back again, you have to be quick and take them down. Otherwise, you will have... If you don't, you will have a problem. So, this ship is probably, you know, when you fired a few shots at it, it's probably kind of easy to board it, I believe. Well, it's a nice... Nice setup. Like shield focused ship. Um, I don't know if you saw Blood and Steel, but it it did really well there, I must say. And the shields are going up. Oh my god, we seem to be not able to hold down the shields with only these weapons. They are really, really strong, the shields. That's cool. Wow. Okay, let's let's fire the this one and see how far it if it gets through or not. Well, it's only system, so I guess it will go through. Oh, basically. Well, I'd say this is really tough system because you can see we, you know, the shields won't go down in the first, you know, in the first take, you see. So it's really impressive that way. Oh, we accidentally targeted uh, a turret there. It's hard to take the shame. Oh, good shields. 
very good shields. So if you don't have a ion system, um, this ship will be a bit of a problem for you. Really powerful shields there. Except, uh, ex well, with the shield bonus, you know, of so many percent, it will get really, you know, tough. And you will see you spend many of your resources just going to blast down the shields. Well, that's really cool. Um, I believe this ship will last long in a battle. Um, the other ships too, even though most of them aren't that combat centered. Uh, one ship seems just to be mostly support. This is the main combat vessel. Well, let's set down in the... Uh, hmm. Well, let's just end off here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little ship showcase and uh, let's take a nice alien shower. Tentacles, nice. Oh, I love the tentacles. So nice. Tentacles. Anyways, I'm glad you watched and you know, please keep tuned in for future videos and... Uh, well, see you around, Jimmy, this is Total Nerd Channel, officially out.